Hi, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a fly that's existed in a few different forms for me, but I've just finalized a new version of it that I, I like quite a bit. This is a wire body betis nymph. I've got a lot of streams in the Black Hills that are just chock full of little betis nymphs, and the fish eat a ton of them. So we're always looking for new patterns that imitate a betis nymph. And let's give it a go. We need some really fine thread here. It's a Danville spider web. Really fine. One of the downsides, it's really only available in white, but you can mark it up with a marking pen at the end of your fly and, and make the color whatever you want it to be. For tails, I'm going to use some Coq de Leon fibers. So I'm going to tie those in kind of at the front of the hook and wind those back to the back. And I'll trim those to length. Now for the body of the fly, I'm going to use two colors of ultra wire. And for this particular pattern, I'm going to use olive and then wine ultra wire. I'm going to tie those in together and wind them down. And you want those to, as you're tying those down, you want those to kind of follow the hook. That'll give you the cleanest underbody for when you wrap your wire over the top of them. Okay, now that those are tied in and secure, we're going to take our wire, we're going to wind it forward, winding it together. Do this carefully. But what you should end up with is a nice two-tone body with alternating olive and wine wraps. Gives it some cool segmentation and nice color. Okay, we'll get up to the top end of the hook here. I'll take and tie off the wire. And trim out the excess. Notice I left these fibers for these uh, tails uh, in. We're going to use those for legs here in a bit. Now, I'm going to do a little biot back. Take two black biots, goose biots. I love to do this for little wing buds on mayfly nymphs. That little black back effect is important, I think, especially as they get a little closer to uh, maturity as a nymph before they hatch. These little wing buds develop or become more prominent, I should say, and they're very dark in color, black almost. So I'm going to tie in one of those on either side of the hook and then trim out any little excess tips I've got there. Careful not to trim out your hackle fibers. And we can tie that down a little bit, bring our hackle tips a little further forward. Now double little thorax. I'm going to use light olive UV ice dub for a little sparkle. Just need a little ball of that for a thorax. Fold those biots back just a little bit. Tighten up my dubbing a little as well. Make a nice little rounded ball there. Take and fix any of the excess fibers. Okay. Now, I've got a nice little ball of a thorax there. What I'll do is I'll take and separate these fibers up front from the Coctillion so we get equal, roughly equal numbers on either side. Fold those back. 
a little leg clump. There we go. Now we'll do our, our biots to make our little wing buds. What you're going to do is you're going to take, and don't pull those directly over. What I like to do is let them lay back a little bit, then fold it so they extend back from the, the back edge of the thorax a little bit like that. And then I'm going to do the same on the near side. Trick that into folding so it's about the same length as the other one. Fold that over. Tie that down. Make sure they're roughly the same length or the fly looks a little out of proportion. You should get two nice little wing buds there. Then we'll trim out our excess biot. So once you get everything tied down at the front end of the hook, you can just build up a little thread head and I know it's white for now, that's okay. You could do this with a another color thread if you wanted, but um, the fineness of this spider web helps you keep your fly real slender without getting a lot of thread build up. So I'll do my half hitches or a whip finish here at the front. And I'll go ahead and trim out my thread. And we'll take care of that white thread at the front. The little sharpie marker action. And then we'll take our scissors and make these legs about just about the same length as our thorax, maybe a little longer. Then we can take our tails and flare those a little bit and trim those off so they're about a, a body length. Sneak them out of there. Trim those equal length. So it's got a nice little hunchback effect. Those little biot wing buds I think are pretty cool and I think the little wire, two-tone wire body is also really neat. Here's a little bit of a close-up of that fly. You can see how the two-tone wire body looks. If you fold that over you get to see the nice effect of those little biot wing buds. The legs, underbody, or underside of the body. Just a cool little betas nymph pattern that works really well for the trout in Spearfish Creek and also on Rapid Creek. So tie a few of these up. They'll take a little bit longer than maybe a WD-40 or something like that, but they're very durable and they catch a lot of fish. Again, I'm Hans Stephenson from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. We just finished tying the wired-bodied betas nymph.